Welcome to the Bob Cole Conservatory of Music's virtual open house. My name is Alicia Doyle. I am the interim director of the Bob Cole Conservatory of Music. I'm a musicologist and I play French horn. I am delighted to see all of you here today and I'm eager to get started. We have organized this virtual house so that you can learn more about our programs from our current students and alumni. We have also invited our administrative support coordinator, Patty Valenzuela, so that you can put a face to the name of the person who is sending you all of the audition information. This event is geared towards applicants interested in our undergraduate programs. If you are a graduate applicant, you're welcome to stay, but do keep your eyes open for information about our graduate open house, which will be held on February 23rd. Here is what we have planned for today. First, I'll share a few insights about the Bob Cole Conservatory of Music. Our Director of Choral Studies, John, Dr. Jonathan Talberg, will introduce you to some alumni. You will hear from two current students. Faculty and students will talk about the audition day itself. Then we'll go to breakout rooms where you will meet the faculty director for your area, as well as current students. Dr. Jeremy Arnold will explain how to get to the breakout rooms a bit later. Now, for some BCCM insights. Our conservatory has about 500 undergraduate and graduate music majors. Our conservatory is a part of the larger California State University at Long Beach, which altogether has 37,000 students. Our program offers you the best of both worlds. We offer you highly individualized and specialized training in music within a liberal arts degree where you can explore study in all disciplines across campus. Our mission is to prepare our students for success as artists, teachers, and scholars. How do we do this? First, our highly qualified faculty are active performers, educators, and scholars. Most of our performance faculty are playing regularly in concerts, in film and TV, and solo recitals in the US and abroad. If you look at the end credits of a recent film, I can almost guarantee that you will see our faculty listed. I looked at Spider-Man No Way Home last night and saw our colleagues Jenny Olson, Joe Stone, Dylan Hart, and Rob Scher listed in the end credits. Our academic faculty are equally as well established. We publish and present our research in regional, national, and international forums. Second, our faculty share their musical and scholarly expertise with our students in the classroom, in rehearsals, and in lessons, training you to be ready for success after graduation. The environment in our conservatory is competitive and supportive. While the students challenge each other to improve, they also build each other up. The result of outstanding instruction and prepared students is that our ensembles, as you heard in that video clip, are among the best in the West. Testimony to this include that our Concert Jazz Orchestra has meant, won many Downbeat Student Music Awards. Pacific Standard Time has won Downbeat Magazine's Best Collegiate Vocal Jazz Ensemble 12 years in a row. Our Chamber Choir has won the Choir of the World Competition in 2016 and the Austrian International Choir Competition in 2017. The Chamber Choir, along with Pacific Standard Time, have been invited to perform at the American Choral Directors Association National Conference this year. You can listen to a BCCM performance by watching one of our 1,208 videos on our YouTube channel, which has nearly 3 million views. Further testimony is found in our many notable and successful alumni, including artists who have sung with top opera companies, who play in major orchestras, in studio recordings, and have appeared on pop albums. Students also have gone on to work in law, medicine, music archives and libraries, or have become music producers. Several of our alumni have won Grammy Awards. Our graduates also go on to stellar graduate programs, many with full tuition and teaching assistantships. And our music education program boasts a 100% job placement rate. I am sure that many of you have been to our website. It should be your first stop to learn about our program and the admissions process. You can also learn about our faculty, ensembles, academics, and our incredibly reasonable tuition. Thank you for coming today and go beach. Now I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Talberg,
who will introduce you to some of our outstanding alumni who are here today. Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. It's really um, exciting to see over 80 people here at our open house. We were so excited to invite you to campus and uh, we were planning on having pastry and food and lots of students to show you around and campus tours and all that sort of stuff. But we are in a two week pause before we start all of our um, on-campus activities. So in two weeks, all, all of our students will be back on campus. And if you'd like to come and visit at that time, please be in touch with the area directors in your breakout rooms, and we will create an opportunity for you to come to, and visit after, after this, this little two-week brief pause to let the Omicron variant pass through California. Um, that being said, because we couldn't have people on campus, uh, we reached out to some of our spectacular alums and we asked them if maybe they would just talk for 30 seconds to a minute about their memories at Long Beach State. So I want to just turn this over to Dr. Arnold to play this video and you'll see alumni from who are alumni who are from people here to, still teaching at Long Beach State to current students at the Yale School of Music and uh, current young artists at the Metropolitan Opera. So Dr. Arnold, if you'll play that video now, that'd be great. Hello, my name is Brittany Olivia Logan and I graduated from Falk in 2018. Since then, I went off to earn my master's at the University of Cincinnati. Last year, I was a national finalist in the Metropolitan Opera competition and earned a spot in the prestigious Lindemann Young Artist Program here at the Met. My time at Bob Cole was so fulfilling. Not only did I get the knowledge, the skill set, but I got the confidence to really make it in this industry. Whether you're an instrumentalist, opera singer, music education major, Bob Cole is a place for you to come, learn, and thrive. Hello, my name is Elvin Schlanger. I graduated from Cal State Long Beach in 2020, uh, majoring in flute performance and I'm currently in the last semester of my master's degree at the Yale School of Music. Um, I am so thankful and lucky to have been able to study at the Bob Cole Conservatory at Cal State Long Beach. Um, I have so many fond memories from the friends I made, the music I was able to play, uh, the tours I was able to participate in. Um, the professors are so knowledgeable and helpful and friendly. Uh, they genuinely care about you and your success, and they want to steer you in the right direction. Um, Long Beach made it easy for me to just focus on flute uh, by providing so many scholarship opportunities and uh, student jobs for me to take advantage of uh, so that I could just focus on my playing as much as possible. Um, even though I just graduated a few years ago, I already feel extremely prepared to enter the field and start making a name for myself. Uh, so I hope you consider Cal State Long Beach and best of luck in your audition. Hi everyone, my name is McKenna Clark and I completed my Master in Music degree in Violin Performance at CSULB. During my time there, I was able to take lessons with my amazing teacher Moni, play in the orchestra, learn tons and tons of excerpts, and also grew as a musician in all of my chamber ensemble experience. My professors supported me in auditioning for several training orchestras in the LA area, which later helped me to win my first professional orchestra job with the Reno Philharmonic. I currently play with five professional orchestras in the Northern California and Nevada area. And I also have a huge music studio called Sierra Strings. I teach over 70 kids every week, and I am so grateful to CSULB for setting me up for success. Go Beach. Hello, my name is Dr. Brian McDaniel. I'm a 2018 California Teacher of the Year, a 2019 National Teacher of the Year nominee, and a 2019 Global Teacher Prize finalist. Best of all, I'm a Long Beach State alum. My time at Long Beach was special. I had the best teachers that money could buy, and I was able to do wonderful things like play every single instrument, compose my own music, and learn conducting from Dr. Talberg, which he's the best. My kids have been able to do fantastic things. However, it's the relationships I made. I literally met my wife at Cal State Long Beach. So please consider this wonderful institution of learning. And I hope to see you there. Go Beach! 
Hi, my name is Ryan Dark, and I am principal trumpet of the Los Angeles Opera Orchestra. I also teach trumpet at Cal State Long Beach Bob Cole Conservatory of Music currently, and have a big attachment to this institution for many reasons. One, the faculty members are world class. Across the board, you are getting some of the best teachers in the United States. Um, two, it is affordable and accessible to all, which I truly love, being able to get a world-class education for a fraction of the cost. Three, you're getting more ensembles, more experiences, and more depth of experience at a state university than you are and at some comparable conservatories because there are three wind bands, three jazz bands, two orchestras, um, tons of brass quintets and woodwind quintets and same instrument ensembles, and just world-class opportunities for growing into your own musical self. So the space that Cal State Long Beach and Bob Cole Conservatory give students, the opportunities and the faculty stand out as world class. And after being all over the world performing, I'm back where I went to school at what I think is one of the best institutions on the West Coast. Hey y'all, Vijay Rosales here. I am a proud alum of the Bob Cole Conservatory of Music and I'm so so happy that you are considering going here because honestly it's just the greatest place ever um, i would never ever trade what i learned from bob cole ever in my life because it prepared me so much for what i do today i sing in an acapella group called the philharmonic spelled with an f-i-l because we're all filipino um, we sang on nbc's the sing off we've been in pitch perfect too and um, we currently sing on the james corden show the late late show with james corden <laughs> and um, honestly i would not be able to do what I do on that show if I didn't gain the skills that I gained at Cal State Long Beach. And not only that, but just like the friendships and the relationships that I've created there too. And so again, I'm just super grateful to be alum. I will never ever stop um, representing Cal State Long Beach because truly I think it's the greatest school ever. So thank you so much. See you around. You might have picked up that the students are attached to our school. We're attached to them too. I was having a, an emotional reaction to every single face on that stream. Oh, I remember when Brian wasn't, oh, I remember when VJ. Oh my goodness. Um, so you heard a little bit from our alumni. Now we're going to hear from our two of our current students, Anna and Brandon. Hi everyone. My name is Brandon Mahawi. Um, I'm a saxophonist and I am a senior at Bob Cole with a double major in jazz studies and instrumental music education. Hi everybody, my name is Anna Crumley and I'm also a double major in jazz studies with an emphasis in voice and choral music education. Um, so today we're gonna give you a little intro as to what your average day might look like as a music major at Bob Cole Conservatory. Um, it's going to be pretty similar for both of us, um, but for the instrumental side of things, I suppose, uh, my average day throughout the year has looked like, or throughout the years, um, has looked like in the morning, usually theory or music history, and then um, maybe some methods classes if you're a music ed major, so learning to play all the different instruments that you might have to teach. Um, in the Early afternoon to mid afternoon is usually when most of our ensembles take place. And then usually a gap in the early evening when I have some time to practice. And then in the later evening is when most of the music education classes are or on the jazz study side of things, um, jazz theory or jazz improv, those types of classes usually take place in the evening. Very busy day. <laughs> Yeah, and I'll just kind of go into a little bit more detail. Um, that's kind of what our day looks like too, Brandon, over on the vocal side of things. Um, a lot of the times though, in the mornings, you'll have your history classes. Right now I'm taking jazz history with Dr. Briggs, which is a fantastic class. I highly recommend it. You could have theory classes, maybe your piano proficiency courses that you have to take. Um, those are kind of the main things that you'll do in the morning, theory classes. And then a lot of the times you're gonna have gaps. As students, we just tend to have little gaps, big gaps, and what you do in that time is really, really important. Some things that we do is we have these great practice rooms. Um, you can go and rent a key and use a practice room, or you can actually have a practice room for the whole semester that's your own. Um, you'll see me writing charts all the times. We have these um, 
tables. They're, the, they're called the tables. And that's where everybody sits and does their work. And a lot of the times you'll see students doing homework, writing charts, whatever. Um, we also have a fantastic gym and facilities. So you'll see people just in their breaks going over there, going on a walk. Um, and then for myself, I have PST, which is Pacific Standard Time, our vocal jazz ensemble run by Christine Guter, Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Um, right before class, um, we take the like 30 minutes before class starts to actually set up the sound system. So if you're into things like how does how does um, like sound work or sound systems work, it's a really really cool opportunity to to learn about, about that. So we do that, we get prepped, and then we have our rehearsal for about an hour and 50 minutes. Um, we do sectionals, we prep for things like ACDA, for we did the Gen Conference in New Orleans in 2020. And then chamber choir, same thing. That's my Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays with Dr. Talberg. This is a fantastic thing because with Dr. Talberg, he lets students lead warm-ups, which is really, really cool because when do you get the chance to lead 40 singers, 40 really wonderful singers in warm-ups, sit at the piano, work on your piano skills, work on listening to such a big ensemble. So we have these great opportunities um, with our choirs. And then in the afternoons, I usually have my education classes. I had Emerging Methods with Dr. Zanudo, um, Choral Methods and Repertoire with Dr. Palki. Um, one of my favorite classes was Elementary Music with Dr. Teese. And we learned about ORF instruments, which are so fun. And then, you know, once a week you get your lessons and you get to have your own teacher. My mentor, my everything is Christine Guter. And those lessons for me each week are life-giving and they're extremely helpful. Like, how cool is it that I get to learn from somebody who's sung on over 50 films in her career every single week? So you get such an amazing and diverse um, education at Cal State Long Beach. So, yeah. Yeah, and um, you will, if you set up your schedule correctly, um, playing opportunities almost every day. Um, most ensembles meet either Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday. Those are the larger ensembles. Um, on the instrumental side of things, I know that most mornings um, will be your opportunity to play in chamber ensembles, whether that's like the string quintet or jazz combo, brass quintet um, ensembles like that. Um, and then of course, it doesn't matter what your major instrument is or what your specialty is, you can um, playing whatever ensembles you like. So this semester I'm going to be singing in a vocal jazz group, even though I am not a vocalist. Um, I've played in concert band. If you wanted to learn to play a string instrument and you're a brass player, you could audition for Beach Orchestra. Um, we have, there are no boundaries. So you can, you can perform as much as you'd like. And then the last thing I'll add is we have some really, really cool elective classes as well within the conservatory. Um, my favorite was Music Business with Rob Freer. That class, if you have the opportunity to take it, it will open your eyes to just the amount of career opportunities that we have as musicians that I had no idea about. There are so many career opportunities. Um, and Professor Freer really gives you a great um, insight into what um, his professional life has looked like and gives you tips and tricks into the industry. So there's also electronic music classes as well that are that I've heard are fantastic. So there's plenty of opportunities to do um, all sorts of classes. I think that's all we've got. Thank you. Thank you so much, you two. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Brandon. Um, Yes, that everything they said is true. There is tr there are tremendous opportunities here, but like Brandon said, you know, you have to schedule your day right. So um, we have a lot of people on staff to help you. We have an undergraduate advisor that is dedicated to music, and we have Patty Valenzuela, who is our ASC in the front office. I've asked her to say hello. She is in charge of auditions. So if you get a message from her, answer her message. Here's Patty. Hi everyone. Um, yeah, my name is Patty. I see a lot of familiar names in, in these little boxes. So it's nice to see what your faces look like too. Um, so yeah, I've been with the BCCM for a year and a half. It feels like 10 sometimes, but um, yeah. So if you um, see me around on audition day, running around, um, feel free to stop me, ask me a question. You can, you, most of you have my email as well. You can also find it on the website. So you can always reach out to me with any questions that you have. Um, nice to meet you guys.
faculty are here for you, our staff are here for you, and the students are here for you. So on that note, I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Jeremy Arnold, who's going to talk about the breakout rooms. Oh, no, that's I missed one. Excuse me. Christine and uh, uh, Christine Guter and Brian Hernandez are going to talk about your audition itself. I got too excited. Thank you. And actually, we're going to start with Dr. Rob Freer. Thank you for giving me a higher degree than I actually have. Professor Freer is here. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, here's my here's my plea. Please don't be nervous at your audition. There is no reason to be nervous. Most of you have played video pre-screens. We love you. We want to hear you. We want to hear you play your absolute best. So if you can come in relaxed and know that we're here to support you and, and encourage you, you'll play a much better audition. So please be relaxed. Don't worry. We're not going to bite your heads off. We want you to do your best and we want it and we want to help you meet your musical goals. So that's what we're here for. So back to Christine. Thank you. Um, so just some tips, uh, very briefly, some audition tips. Just remember that an audition is like a job interview. So you want to dress professionally. You're making a, an impression of what it would be like to work with you. What are you implying about yourself in your audition? So be early, dress professionally. Um, don't make excuses like, oh, I'm sick or, oh, my sight reading chops are rusty or, um, and also don't be too casual with your audition panel. You know, I've had some students walk in the room and flip flops and shorts and a, you know, a t-shirt and just say, what's up? <laughs> Not really the best way to greet your, um, your future professors probably. So um, again, don't be too casual. We want you to be yourself. So obviously smile, introduce yourself, be yourself. Um, but, but also there needs to be a level of, you know, a little bit of formality. Um, and we have this amazing opportunity. We have a student here who would love to share his experience um, in auditioning. Brian, please join. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Brian. Um, so my first impressions going into the university, um, it was my first audition and I was also first gen too. So I was really nervous. Um, but first impressions going into it is I just see like these beautiful trees, um, plants everywhere. And, um, that pyramid right in the back really stands out for me. And, um, I don't know, I just felt like home to me and it made that even more, um, structured to sure it was because, um, I got a welcoming start as well. There was a student volunteer that came to me and um, asked for my name and asked what instrument I played. <laughs> and um, they led me to a practice room area. And what's cool is that they let me choose a practice room. Uh, so um, I thought that was really cool. And when my call time approached, uh, I went to um, the audition. He led me, he escorted me there. And it was a um, really swift audition, but they asked me uh, questions before it began so I could like, not be nervous when I went and they asked who I was and where I came from um, and um, instrument I played, how long I played and it got me to relax a bit um, during it. And it went really well. But at the time, I, again, I was still really nervous. Uh, <laughs> so I went out, I was thinking like, man, I, I hope I get in. Um, and then while I was going to my car, some students came up to me as like, yo, you sounded really good. You sounded really good. And I said, you really, you really think so? Yeah, we heard you out front. It was really good. And um, it boosted my confidence a little bit. And um, I think it was about two days later, um, I got an email from the conservatory. It's funny because um, I actually got accepted from the conservatory uh, then. Um, and then two weeks later, I got accepted by university. But before that, the conservatory said that we really want you here. And um, no matter what the acceptance is, from the university, contact us so we could get you in. And I just thought, wow, <laughs> um, that's really great. Um, fortunately, the university accepted me, but it was really ensuring that, and, um, that the university, no, the conservatory um, wanted me here. No other university did that. Um, I'm a music ed major. So 
they I also have an interview process um, going with it. No other university did that but the Bobco Conservatory. I went to around eight um, California schools and music. None of them did. And it's really, it's really cool that they did that. And it felt like that they really wanted me as a person. My advice for that is to be yourself and just be present. It's not a daunting interview at all. And also performing in front of your instructors, just like what they said, they want you to succeed. So just relax and do your best. Um, good luck to all of you. And I hope to see you on campus uh, for auditions and next year at the BCCM. Thank you. Really glad that you came, Brian. So um, now I'll turn it over to Dr. Jeremy Arnold to talk about the breakout rooms and you can talk to your area directors and more students. Thank you, Dr. Doyle. Welcome everyone. We are thrilled that you are joining us this morning. We do have an opportunity for you to join breakout rooms so that you can um, ask questions from the various area directors and faculty and some students that are in attendance. So this is the last time we'll be together as a large group, right? Okay. Cor correct, so, yes. Um, I just wanna say thanks everyone for coming. We're so, so grateful to have you here and we hope that you will go to a breakout room and um, ask any questions that you have uh, to your specific area director. Thanks so much.